Hey everyone, welcome to the online personality. In this one and this test is dominantly for all the mums, the mothers, the parents, the fathers who want to take it for the children. Why? Because you want to assess their intelligence type and where it works dominantly when they are young, right? When they are pre-teens or teens or approaching and when you are thinking about their education and what their talents are and so forth. Why? Because we are talking about multiple intelligence type like this pie chart over here says. What is multiple intelligence type? Let's see them one by one. It can be existential. Thinking about existence. You know, the children who ask questions all the time about what is God or what is this or what is this life about. Existential. Linguistic. More talkative. Logical or mathematical. Very strong in mathematics. Musical. They are more musical type of children. It can be bodily kinesthetic means they are sports kind of people. Right? You can even tell this from their astrology. Spatial visual. They are visualizers of great kinds. Right? They can be interpersonal. More of personal relationship or intrapersonal. One with one another. Some, of, some children, as you know, make very good friendships. Social birds. Or they might be a naturalist, very fond of plants, very fond of animals, very fond of nature, earth, so on. <clears throat> so this pie chart, like you see there, gives this sort of um, natural inclination. So first I will explain what these multiple intelligence types are. And then last part, we'll see Excel sheet and how to use it. Download links are in the description box. Take this test for your children. I think it will be very valuable for you to know what they are like inherently. Hey everybody. Now we come to the second kind of tests that I use in um, advanced self-image analysis of a personality. This is called multiple intelligence type. Now this is all credit goes to an educational psychologist called Howard Gardner. I found this very useful to use in personality evaluation because it classifies intelligence beyond the boundaries of the modern narrow IQ tests and uh, personality tests that are available. This is not very commonly used but I found this to be very true. And I use all this stuff which is applicable, true and can be practically and pragmatically used with our kids, with the young adults, with the adults even of an older generation perhaps, who never knew they had this intelligence type. So what is this multiple intelligence type about? Let's find out. What is multiple intelligence type? Each one of us excels in one area of intelligence or intellect. Some are musical, some are scientific, some are mathematical, some are nature lovers, etc. There are so many different types. All of us are needed and required to build the good earth. Okay, people. Multiple intelligences were developed but much neglected in the mainstream education system and evaluation system. It was developed by Howard Gardner. I think this guy was a Canadian educational psychologist. He developed a theory about people and the different types of intelligences, logical, visual, musical, etc. A person may have two or more dominant types of intelligences. And maybe there are some individuals who have a balance of all seven types of intelligence that they studied. He has documented it and he has classified it. To help understand this better, a simple test which I take in the in the evaluation on my excel sheet will help you determine what is your child or if you are a young or mature adult what is your intelligence type it's good to know again this is a scale nothing to do with good or bad it's just a profile of the areas of your personality you have how many intelligence types do you have and how do they dictate your life how do you perceive your reality how do you cognize your reality take two of the highest scores if you want to narrow it down really hard, if there are prominent areas where you shine and where you don't, etc. So let's see the pie chart again. There's the sample report. There are seven types of intelligences which he classifies. So this pie is divided into seven pieces. What are those? Existential, linguistic, logical, mathematical, musical, bodily and kinesthetic, spatial and visual, 
interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalist. Okay. Existential, I think we already covered. So these are the seven types. As we can see, this pie chart gets split pretty much in even um, sizes of the pie, so to speak. But this person has to have seems to have more of musical qualities, followed by interpersonal qualities. And we can make a good musician because logical mind is also needed for music musicians in a way, even though they might not be good with numbers. Music is pretty much mathematical in notes. So let's see which, what each one of these type is quickly. Okay, existential intelligence. What is the core characteristic of this? They are about collective consciousness, the capability to see how something relates to the big picture. Now tie this in context with the other videos of advanced as well as basic. You'll start seeing a pattern here. That's the beauty of these things. Collective values, understanding the classical Western values of truth, goodness, and beauty. Summation iteration, summative iteration. What does this mean? Summative iteration, a kind of a tongue twister. The ability to summarize details into a larger understanding. Intuitive iteration, a responsiveness to the intangible qualities of being human, be it responding to arts, philosophical virtues, or religious tenets. Students or young adults or mature adults, let's just put it adults, adults with a strong intel existential intelligence, what do they seek? They seek meaningful learning. They look for connections across the curriculum. They try to connect the dots, like to synthesize ideas based on their learning. Something of, I'm of this type of more, I think. I haven't taken the test yet. Enjoy literature and customs from other cultures. I have done that. Have a strong connection with family and friends. Develop strong identity with the neighborhood and town. Express a sense of belonging to a global community. These are the globalists of our world. They like to get involved with social and political causes. They can have a strong commitment to their health and well-being. Tend to look for at information relative to the context in which it is presented. Some more on existential intelligence to support this intelligence in the classroom because he was an educational psychologist. What do you do for such children, for such adults? Offering an overview before starting the new instruction. Teaching by considering topics from multiple points of view. Reading, relating material to global themes and concepts. Connecting the dots seems to be a big quality about them. Integrating our, your instruction across the curriculum means one subject to another you are trying to connect the dots. Like you are finding similarity between history and geography for example. Including the arts in instruction where appropriate. Do you show things by pictures? Discussing how topics are important to the classroom, school, community or world. Bringing in resource people who offer additional perspectives on a topic, like getting a guest lecturer kind of thing. Helping students learn to cohesively summarize what they have learned. Summarize. Allowing students to demonstrate learning by applying understanding in new and different contexts. Having students participate in rubric development for performance based tasks so that they can take ownership for their learning. Technologies that stimulate this intelligence are art replica, planetarium, stage drama, classic literature, classic philosophy, symbols of world religions, virtual communities, virtual art exhibits, virtual field trips, MUDs, I don't know what that means, blogs, wikis, virtual reality, simulations, because these are very conceptual people, they need to tie into big picture. These are big picture kids and adults. Okay. Linguistic intelligence, what are these chaps about? Core characteristic, ideation, thinking and remembering through internal language, functional literacy, understanding the rules and functions of language, 
self regulation analyze one's own use of language adaptation apply the rules of language to new and different contexts oral expression explain and express oneself verbally written expression explain and express oneself in writing students with strong linguistic intelligence appreciate the subtleties of grammar and meaning these are the linguists of our world they write they are the shakespeares of the world spell easily enjoy word games understanding jokes puns and riddles use descriptive language they are good storytellers internalize new information through lecture and discussion demonstrate understanding easily through discussion and essay what are some more characteristics how do we teach these guys so, to support this intelligence in classroom or teaching environment you do exploring new vocabulary learning terms and expressions from other languages multilingual encouraging opportunities for public speaking incorporating drama into learning keeping daily journals promoting opportunities for creative writing nurturing oral storytelling including opportunities for expository and narrative writing utilizing quality children's and young adult literature in classroom reading out a classical work for example technologies that stimulate this intelligence are textbook pen pencil worksheet newspaper magazine word processing electronic mail desktop publishing i mean this list is a little old we have many more much better tools on the web on youtube everywhere these days just take it for what it is now web based publishing keyboards speech recognition devices text bridges okay like i said this list is a little old okay Next one is logical mathematical type of intelligence core characteristic is linear reasoning seeking order and consistency in the world mathematicians of the world concrete reasoning breaking down systems into their components abstract reasoning using symbols to represent concrete ideas causal relationships identifying cause and effect within a system the engineers the scientists complex operations performing sophisticated algorithms students with a strong logical intelligence seek order they reason scientifically they identify relationships they enjoy testing theories they like compelling completing puzzles compelling even excel at calculating numbers solving problems instinctively analyze abstract ideas manipulate functions perform these operations at a rapid rate so how can we support these uh, people in our world to support this intelligence in the classroom we can do following things creating intrinsic and extrinsic order in your classroom presenting criteria at the beginning of an activity to provide structure offering open ended problem solving tasks including convergent thinking activities in instruction promoting experiments which test student hypotheses using syllogisms in a language i don't know what that is encouraging classroom debate incorporating puzzles into learning centers setting short term achievable goals for the class allowing students to participate in building assessment rubrics technologies that support this intelligence again it might be a little outdated lecture Cuisinier rods. I don't know what the hell that is. Unifix cubes, tangram, tangrams, measuring cups, measuring scales, ru- ruler, yardstick, slide rule, graphic calculator, spreadsheet, search engine, directory, FTP clients, gophers, web quests, problem solving tasks, and programming languages. Half of this seems very geeky to me, but yeah, you can do a research on this. Okay, I've captured the base material here. We can go further with this. The next is interpersonal intelligence core characteristics they have collaborative skills the capability to jointly complete tasks with others they have a cooperative attitude the willingness to offer and accept input leadership recognition by peers as someone to follow they have a, they are social influencers social influence and ability to persuade others marketing chaps the great digital marketing these days social empathy and awareness and concern for others social connection 
a skill for meaningfully relating to others. Students with a strong interpersonal intelligence seek support of a group. They value relationships. They enjoy collaborative work. They solicit input from others. They enjoy this. They enjoy sharing about themselves. Display a winning personality. Tend to be a natural leader. So, how do we support these people? Allowing interaction among students during learning tasks, including activities where students work in groups. Providing opportunities for students to select their own groups. Forming cooperative groups wherein each member has an assigned role. Planning activities where students form teams to be successful. Allowing competition that promotes higher level achievement. Incorporating structured, dramatic activities in which students can role play. Role playing. Utilizing resource people to invigorate your classroom. Promoting interaction with other classes by participating in learning tasks together. Technologies that stimulate this intelligence. Discussion, class discussion, group discussions, post-it notes, greeting cards, laboratory, telephone, walkie-talkie. I mean, we don't even use walkie-talkie now. It's all mobile phones. And apps, chat apps. You can substitute there. Intercom, board games, costumes, collaborative projects, web chats. There you go. Social media group discussions. This is the prominent thing these days. Virtual media message boards, instant messenger. They need more company communication basically. Okay. Intrapersonal intelligence. What is their core characteristic? We got totally seven, so just bear with me here. Effective awareness, knowledge of one's feelings, attitudes, outlook, ethical awareness, the setting of one's principles and moral priorities, self-regulation, monitoring of one's own thoughts, actions and behavior, metacognition, the awareness of one's own thought processes, cognition of your own cognition is metacognition. It's like you are aware of your own thought process. Highly meditated. Students with a strong intrapersonal intelligence are comfortable with themselves, express strong like or dislike of a particular activity, communicate with their feelings, communicate their feelings, sense their own strengths and weaknesses, show confidence in their abilities, they set realistic goals, they make appropriate choices, they follow their instincts, express a sense of justice and fairness for all, relate to others based on the sense of self. Wish we could do more of these kind of leaders these days. How do we support these kind of children and young adults? Differentiating instruction. Always try to develop critical thinking for these people. Very important. You can see the critical thinking in my corporate seminar series. If you don't know what I mean. Using analogies in making comparisons. Providing activities which offer learner choices. Having students set goals for themselves in the classroom. Including daily journal, writing, in your classroom routine, providing opportunities for learners to express their feelings on a topic, allowing opportunities for student reflection on learned subjects, examining the current events in terms of social justice, social norms, etc. Utilizing interest inventories, questionnaires, interviews and other approaches to measuring student growth including student self-assessment in classroom assessment strategies. Technologies that stimulate are journals, diaries, surveys, voting machines, learning centers, children's literature, class discussion, they love group discussion, real-time projects, online surveys, online forms, digital portfolios, self-assessment. Quite a long list there. Bodily and kinesthetic or kinesthetic intelligence. Kinesthetic means a sense of touch. Core characteristics, they are sensory. Internalizes the information through bodily sensation. Reflexive, responds quickly and intuitively to physical stimulus. Tactile, demonstrates well-developed gross or fine motor skills. Concrete, expresses feelings and ideas through body movement. They are well-coordinated. They show dexterity, agility, flexibility, balance and poise. These are the gymnasts, the athletes of the planet. Task-oriented. Strive to learn by doing. They practice, practice to become perfect. They are the tiger... Um, who is that guy who is a golf... Tiger Woods. Students with strong kinesthetic intelligence seek to interact with their environment. 
they enjoy hands-on activities they can remain focused on a hands-on task for an extended period of time may demonstrate fine or gross motor ability prefer learning centers to seat work they don't like sitting around they like to physically do things seek out other students who are physically gregarious they master principle once they can manipulate materials that demonstrate a concept you have to be very demonstrating physically to these kids enjoy group games activity learning tasks they are different from children who are hyperactive important point the last one how can we support these kids providing hands on learning centers incorporating creative drama in your instruction in the classroom including interactive games in reviewing and remediating content offering experiences in movement to rhythm and music engaging students in hands on science experiments utilizing manipulative techniques in math instruction allowing opportunities for building and taking apart encouraging students to construct physical representation of concepts keeping students physically moving through the school day technology to stimulate construction tools kitchen utensils anything handy screw lever wheels axle inclined plane pulley wedge like a chain pulley block physical education equipment manipulative materials joystick mouse is like a said a little older list okay visual intelligence core characteristics spatial awareness solving problems with spatial orientation non sequential reasoning thinking in divergent ways visual acuity assessment of information based on principles of design and aesthetics imagination seeing possibilities before engaging them in the physical world these are the visionaries of the world einstein was like this small motor coordination creating building arranging and decorating they can even be the interior decorators students with strong visual intelligence seek ocular stim- stimulation meaning visual stimulation responding to color line shape can see ideas einstein use mental mental image- images for mnemonic devices they imagine possibilities they live in a world of possibilities these are the futuristic people enjoy expressing themselves through arts they appreciate symmetry and congruence they enjoy rearranging their environment they can manipulate three dimensional models in their minds understand the concept in action how can we support these kids allowing student movement around the learning environment providing a visually stimulating environment lots of slides lots of visual stuff sketching plans and before beginning work brainstorming ideas you know the mind mapping tool that we have all kinds of visual tools semantic mapping guided imagery exercises working with manipulatives diagramming the abstract concepts showing in pictures providing visual assessment and performance tasks utilizing visual technologies such as kid pics and powerpoint now of course there are plenty others technology to stimulate again a little outdated use the modern ones over at projector television video we can put computer tools art supplies chalkboard dry erase board slide shows charting graphing monitor digital camera camcorder camcorder even gone nobody even uses these days and all the canva and all the other software that you can use adobe photoshop sketchbook etc digital movies animation next is rhythmic musical intelligence rhythm intelligence core characteristics oral orientation heightened listening ability patterning they seeking all kinds of patterns not just in sound important to remember resonance identification in patterns as an expression of experience audiation thinking musically rather than verbally this is like uh, the chaps who make musicals as movies right students with strong rhythmic intelligence seek patterns in new information find patterns in their environment they are particularly drawn to sound respond to cadence in language enjoy moving to rhythms they pick up terms and phrases in foreign languages very easily they use patterns to both internalize and recall skills ideas and concepts these guys can become even linguists how do we support them in classroom we engage them 
with working with pattern blocks, hearing sounds in one's environment, moving to rhythm, drawing visual patterns, learning a foreign language, identifying rhyme schemes, finding patterns and sequences of numbers, listening to symphony, deciphering code, learning to read music, you know, the language of the music. Technology is a stimulate pattern blocks, puzzles, musical instruments, phonograph, headphones. Of course, these days you have tons of the other ones. So I'll just leave you with the list. Last on our list, but never the least, we need lots of these actually. Naturalist intelligence, natural orientation. What's the core characteristic? They have a natural orientation towards identification with living organisms and their environments, earth, physical geography, attribution orient, attribute orientation to finding common trails among items, common traits. They are trying to find commonality, like the synthesis of things, categorization, identifying categories by attribute, hierarchical reasoning, ranking items by significance and relationship. Schematic memory, internalizing and recalling information by attribute, category or hierarchy. Students with strong naturalist intelligence, what do they like? They are intrinsically organized. They demonstrate empathy with nature. These are the earth lovers. Pick up on subtle differences in meaning. They like to make collections of materials. They enjoy sorting and organizing materials. They impose their own sense of order on new information and something of this, respond to semantic mapping activities. They prefer charts, tables, diagrams and timelines. Duh, I'm making a presentation. How do we support them? Using graphic organizers, providing and sorting attribute grouping tasks, brainstorming categories, charting hierarchies, utilizing semantic mapping of ideas, even the mind mapping tools, building portfolios of student work, making connections to the natural world modeling strategies to find common attributes, categories, hierarchies across the curriculum. That's very important to, by the way. When you say across the curriculum, it's not one subject. It's like you're trying to tie maths to geography to science to chemistry. That requires a very high level of attunement of intelligence, people. Technologies that can stimulate are microscope, telescope, watching, discussing nature documentaries, scrapbook. They can even have all these modern tools that we have computer, software, drawing tools that they can use, perhaps mind mapping techniques, like I said, semantic mapping tools. Now, all these intelligence types, I'll just summarize here, we've been long in this. I deliberately wanted to read out this whole thing because this needs appreciation. This needs to be known. Even if you take a simple test like this and if you know about your child, it is precious. You know where their inclinations are, you know what they are about and how to engage them meaningfully so that they find meaning in their life and existence, people. That's all it's about. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Multiple Intelligence Type Assessment. This is the worksheet. I'm just giving you instructions of how to use this. The download links are below in the description box. You can freely download this Excel worksheet, share it with your friends, colleagues, whoever, right? So who is this test meant for? Parents and teachers and young teenagers mostly because they need to know where their intelligence shines, really. This is all about types of intelligence and there's a good Canadian scientist who studied this as intelligence is not a one type right it's not about rote learning and college education this is about where your where you will shine as your intellect it may be in the field of arts it may be in the field of music it may be in the languages it may be existential let's see what these types are <clears throat> there are totally nine types of intelligences and this is the questionnaire this is the excel sheet which will give you a, it's a long set of questions not really questions it's more like what do you like to do most of the time this is studying the percentages of that and then it will tell you on the score you score here on a scale of one which is not like me two which is slightly like me three which is more like me and four which is most like me so it's a scale it's a range of it and as usual like all the other tests that i have uploaded here for you in this playlist 
this can be shades of this is not black or white this we all have in some proportion each one of these right <clears throat> like sometimes we think of god and sometimes we think of just heavy metal music right so it's a shade of things that we have and how to work with it and which is the dominant one for example this one is dominantly musical child or youth so go to the score here and range from 1 to 4 if i put 4 here this will become slightly different the pie chart the pie chart changes dynamically if i put 2 here it will change again so you score your answer in this column only leave the rest as it is it's all calculated for you and this is the master questionnaire and there are a total set of 91 uh tendencies behaviors things you like to do all the time that kind of thing so this is not really multiple choice you pick your answer according to what you are dominantly most of the time or what your child is or your student is dominantly most of the time and then it will give you the results so there's the master in this tab master questionnaire and then there is the general tab where i'm giving you the description of the types of intelligence here as you can see intelligence type intelligence description typical roles what they are suited for what kind of careers they might be suited for this is very important to know if you have more of musical you can become singer composer dj music producers piano tuners you know acoustic engineers and so on and so forth so all the professions against each type are listed there are totally nine types right the second last column gives related tasks activities or tests so how these children how these young person can learn what is best suited for them <clears throat> preferred learning style is also here numbers and logic sounds and systems pictures shapes and 3d images that kind of a thing So it's important to learn these multiple intelligence that's why I have left this tab also general you can study all these notes while doing this questionnaire also okay right i'll leave you with this much uh, you can download in the description box you can subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more on many of the psychological tests which are useful this is not for the sake of your intellectual understanding but this you can directly use you can have even fun with it have fun with this thing take it for your family and friends yeah okay take care